okay, going to show you how Disney, Illuminati, Jesuitical Disney, is indoctrinating your kids into witchcraft and wizardry and, and Satanism and everything like, everything like that, and making it seem very innocent. They, they come out, they have these little cute characters coming out in just you know, wizard outfit, which is kind of funny because you have the crescent moon and you have this, this star right there. Kind of, you know, the, it's the, the Islamic star right there and the crescent moon, you know. Very interesting, where right? some Islamic symbolism right there, which makes sense because Islam is is steeped in, in Satanism and steeped in witchcraft and everything like that. Which is you know Muslims they'll, they'll deny it, and you know Islam may condemn witchcraft, but um, it, it, it the religion itself is full of witchcraft. Again, whole other issue. Uh, but Islam is satanic. I'll put it that way. But you have the, like Islamic symbolism. You have him basically doing these these uh, hand signs, and it, it makes it look all innocent. Oh look, it's a cute little character doing. Uh, wiz wizard ring witchcraft now and I'll show you right here actually before I get to my next point here, right here he's making an inanimate object move on its own now if you understand the Bible you know that this is basically he conjured like, if you're not or I'll, I'll put it this way if you understand the Bible he basically is conjuring up a spirit to inhabit this object and make it move on its own which the Bible again calls witchcraft he's conjuring up a familiar spirit a devil and it basically inhabits the object and it moves on its own because objects don't just move on their own. There's a, there's a spirit inside of them that's making them move. And just again, promoting this to the kids. Oh, it's not that bad. It's used for good. You know, magic is good. You also have to understand that God doesn't God doesn't use magic. Okay, God is not a magician. God is God. He can do whatever he wants. He is, he doesn't use magic. It's Satanists that use magic because they are they're limited in what they can do. But you see right here, he's. Uh, making this object move on its own, looking all innocent for the kids, just brainwashing them and indoctrinating them. And it's all over these Disney films. Like for example, this one right here. When it, I remember when this came out, I, this came out when I was like in first grade. I was, I was like eight years old or whatever. It was like a film of the year. It was like all over the place. It was advertised everywhere. Uh, and just looking all innocent and everything and you know but again, if a film like this came out like 50 years ago, there'd be like protests and everything on the streets. My cat. Stop meowing. There'd be like protests in the street. There'd be all this boycott and everything like that. But now it's just it comes out film about wizards. Oh, it's a film of the year. You know all these all these promotion and everything. Again, brainwashing your kids into making you want to indulge in the occult and everything like that, and and then get a devil inside of you and all this other crazy stuff. And again, this is how Illuminati Jesuitical Disney works. It, it's a. Uh, the Illuminati, the Jesuits, they're, they're obsessed with witchcraft, they're obsessed with occultism. That's why most Hollywood films, Illuminati, Jesuitical Hollywood films, are just steeped in the occult and steeped in all kinds of, of um, occultic symbolism and Illuminati symbolism. But what does the Bible say about witchcraft? The Bible says in Leviticus chapter 20, my cat again is just roaming around. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 27, but well, this is what the Bible says about these Illuminati type wizards. A man or also or a man also or a woman that hath a familiar spirit. A familiar spirit is a basically a devil. Uh, or that is a wizard shall surely be put to death. They shall stone him with stones. Their blood shall be upon him. Uh, Leviticus or not Leviticus Exodus chapter. I think it's if I'm not wrong. I think it's 22. Verses 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Now, again, the context of this, you have to understand, this is under the Old Testament. They're under a military di dictatorship under God. But it still shows like what God thinks about witchcraft. He thought he, he said it was such a sin that you get put to death for. It was one of the few sins you, you'd get put to death for, among other things like incest, bestiality, homosexual, homosexuality, other stuff you get put to death for. God actually put the death penalty on the sin of witchcraft. And it's kind of funny because the very next verse says, uh, Exodus chapter 22, verse 19, Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. So God condemns witchcraft, and then he condemns bestiality in the very next verse, which is not surprising, because most of these witches and Wiccans and whatever are into all kinds of sexual perversion. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse, I think it is verse 12, or unless it's verse 10. Again, I don't have this on my notes or whatever. Sorry, let me, let me try to find this real quick. Okay, I found it. It was Deuteronomy chapter 18, not 12. It, it was actually verse 12 I was looking for. Deuteronomy chapter 18, um, verses 9 to, I think it's verse 12. When thou art come unto the, into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations, 
Verse 10, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth, useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. Isn't that kind of very interesting? God actually condemns child sacrifice within the same context of uh, enchanting and, and um, observing of times. And it's kind of funny because there's actually a Disney film called Enchanted. Hmm, Enchanter. There shall not be found among you an enchanter. Again, just openly satanic stuff in Disney. Or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a, wicked, a wizard, or a necromancer. For all, the, all that do those, these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Again, again, the context is they're under the Old Testament, but it still shows what God thinks about these sins. Serving times, enchanter, witch, charmer, you know, magic charms, that cereal brand or lucky charms, whatever it's called, or consult with familiar spirits, you know, a mediums that conjures up spirits, or a wizard or a necromancer. So you can see why Disney, Illuminati, Jesuitical Disney is promoting this stuff, because they're anti-God. So, yeah, you gotta watch out for all this uh, pro-witchcraft type Disney stuff that goes on. It is it is blatantly satanic. I mean, it's just, just brainwashing your kids into witchcraft and Illuminati wizardry. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.